reinforcer is something that always always strengthens a response or it strengthens the behavior that it follows and so if I'm in a class and I raise my hand and the teacher says that thank you so much for raising your hand then that is a reinforcer I'm more likely to raise my hand next time um, this happens all all the time in our lives we get our behavior is reinforced or it's punished and we learn not to do it and so well reinforcements always strengthen the response and so here you see positive reinforcement is anything that increases a behavior by presenting a positive stimuli like food is a really really strong one it's also a primary reinforcer because it's innately valuable to us and so um, examples of positive reinforcement you work hard you get money so I do this job I get paid for it um, for a child they go on the potty then they get stickers alright um, if you clean your room then you're allowed to go outside I mean so all of these things are positive reinforcers negative reinforcement this is the trickiest part and it's not punishment so make sure you really understand this let's go through this carefully this is increasing behaviors by stopping or reducing negative stimuli it's not punishment and we'll get to why think of it this way there is a negative environment and you do something to get out of this negative experience and the reinforcement is the end of something bad and so now you have a new opportunity the the prime example of negative reinforcement is nagging so for example your mom's been wanting you to clean your room and so she says clean your room clean your room clean your room and this is nagging 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 so you're in this negative environment and then finally you clean your room and the nagging stops and so all of a sudden your behavior um, is reinforced because the nagging goes away so you are still increasing a response um, so you're still more likely to clean your room because you've done that because now that bad thing has gone away and so here are some t common examples of negative reinforcement um, when you take medicine you have this painful experience and then you take the medicine and it's like oh my headache is gone so that strengthens your response again you're more likely to take medicine um, same thing with an umbrella so it's raining negative environment you open your umbrella you don't feel the rain anymore and so this is a good thing and so you're happy about it um, and so you're more likely to use an umbrella in the future um, saying uncle someone's twisting your arm and um, it hurts and so finally you say uncle and they stop this is another example of negative reinforcement and so let's look at this little chart here and you can see this explained and see the difference with punishment so positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement the effect on the behavior is they both strengthen a response they both make you more likely to do something um, with positive reinforcement if you think of your general state of being you're probably in maybe a neutral state you're just like fine or you're in a bad mood or something but you get something positive out of it you get praise you get money you get food you get a treat and so you're more likely to do it and now you're in a positive state well negative reinforcement you're also more likely to do the behavior but the difference is is that you start in kind of a negative state as oh I have to do this or oh my mom is my dad they're nagging 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 and then you do it and that goes away and so it's like oh okay yeah I'm more likely to do that because I get rid of that um, we know that negative reinforcement is very effective but it's not quite as effective as positive reinforcement um, examples where negative reinforcement can be very very powerful um, they've done some studies with rats where they wanted the rats to learn to press a lever and what they did is they created an electrical grid where the rats anytime they stepped anywhere it gave them a little electric shock so ouch 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 and they would just run all over this until they pressed the lever and then the ouches went away and so that is a perfect example of negative reinforcement how long do you think it took them for took for them to learn to press the lever not very long because they were in pain and so it can be very effective um, and it moves from a negative state to a positive state punishment is different punishment weakens your behavior so if I come running to the house with mud on my shoes and my parents say go straight to your room you're in big trouble um, I'm not gonna come running in the house with mud on my shoes again so it follows a behavior and it's intended to weaken it and so in that case you're in a positive or a neutral state and now you're punished so you're being moved into a negative state because you're like oh now I'm in trouble 